Hi everyone, LJ Aguinaga here with LJ Realties and this week I'm gonna speak about a question I get all the time. It's LJ, is it too late to buy in Montreal? LJ, is it too late to buy in Montreal? Did I miss the boat? Has the wave already passed? Am I just wasting my time here? The answer very simply is no. I'm still buying as much property as I can in Montreal. I still really believe in the market. I think it's a great time to be getting into it. There's a ton of opportunity left. Do I think it's going to slow down in the next couple of years? Yeah, 100%. Last year we saw an appreciation of 8%, the year before that six, and the year before that five. Those are unsustainable amounts. We're not gonna keep seeing that. It can't go up 8% annually, that's just not realistic. But uh, do I think that we're gonna see a couple more years of three to 5%? percent A hundred percent. Montreal was forgotten, forgotten about for so many years that there was just, we were undervalued, there was a lot of room for it to go up, okay? We're starting to catch up to the other major cities in Canada, and I don't think we're gonna get to those numbers by any means, but there's still a decent margin to go, okay? The main reason why I'm not too concerned about the Montreal market is because we're seeing a lot of immigration going up, we're seeing unemployment going down. There's a lot of economic indicators that are just pointing in the right direction for Montreal, all right? Another big thing is interest rates. This year, even 2019, we started the year, we were trading at about 3.6, 3.7 on a five-year fixed rate. As the year went on, Canada had kind of halted from a real estate perspective, and the government said, whoa, whoa, whoa we gotta change this. They reduced interest rates to pick up the general economy of Canada, and that just, acted as a spark plug for Montreal because we were already doing well reducing interest rates just made everyone want to go buy happy um, so we've seen a lot of appreciation this year and we're only going to continue to see it as long as interest rates remain stable people are like oh well I'm, I'm now gonna pay 2.79 or 2.89 and my buddy paid 2.25 a couple years ago we're still seeing interest rates under 3%. Like we're seeing incredibly low interest rates. Let's take advantage of them. Let's buy as much real estate as possible and let's make sure we're excited about the market and where it's going. So personally, I'm a buyer in today's market. So I suggest you look at what's available depending on what your needs are and let's get out there and find that right property. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Bye.